It is not every day you get new car parts when you're 1,300 miles away from home. So I'm currently uh, in a hotel room on base. I'm out in Texas for training. I don't have a garage, so I can't exactly uh, just go and install these like I want to today. But uh, there's some jets for you. Anyway, I'm out here for training for this new job I got in the Air Force. Anyway, we got some new parts from Brookline. Now they're not on the site yet and I will update the description down below or even in the comments, I'll pin it once they're live on the site. They need a couple more people to um, test these. Hopefully I didn't just show you my address, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna unbox these and this weekend we're going to the half mile, but next weekend we're going to Dallas. Um, maybe when I'm in Dallas, I can find somebody to let me, uh, or even lend me a hand, let me use a garage. I need some jacks, some jack stands and uh, We'll get these installed at least in a neutral position. Now, the point of these is to help correct bump steer. If you don't know what that is, uh, just type that in to this site that you're on right now and learn a little bit. Uh, but basically, uh, it's a bunch of suspension geometry and it'll help you drive faster if you drive a lower car. Um, I'll throw these on, adjust them. The right way to do it is a very involved process, but I'm going to put them in a neutral position since I already have a bunch of Brookline parts are ready that help with bump steer. These will help me once I get coilovers on, I will do the real rear, blah, blah, real adjustment, um, which requires taking the spring off the strut and taking the wheel up the whole way and looking to see the angle of the um, tie rod end and all that. But uh, that's for another video. We'll go over all the installation and all that, um, hopefully in a couple weeks. And then when I get coilovers, we will do the full thing when we're taking the spring off and doing all the measuring for bump steer and all that when we really get things uh, dialed in. I'm hoping here after the new year, I can get the coilovers that I want. And then tuning should follow, downpipe, tune, and the car is gonna be set for pretty much the year besides tires, maybe some new end links. My end links are getting a little worn out. But uh, anyway, let's unbox this thing. Ah, all right. I am so excited. As soon as Brookline posted these up, Take one. As I was saying, as soon as Brookline posted these up, um, Albert got a hold of me, talked to me. They needed, well, not needed, but wanted some. We need to figure out um, what all cars these fit. So, if you guys know your tie rod end, you got the part that goes into your knuckle. Well, depending on what car you have, there is different sizes. So. There should be two of them in here, and yes, well, four total, but two, one for each side. We shall see if anything else is in there. Um, yeah, so that's part of it, but I'm just very excited. You guys know I love Brookline. They're like my favorite, and uh, oh, wow, very nice. Check that out. Even says right hand on it. Make sure I'm getting a good angle of this. Look at that. Shoo! Now that is some quality. Of course, you know, we got this spherical bushing in there that is harder than heck to even move. If you guys can see my hands on camera, I can't even move this thing. Whew. That's definitely gonna tighten up the steering. It's something these cars definitely need. Um, I like feeling the road. I like feeling what's going on. So these are gonna help with that, but these are for mostly bump steer. Now, I am unsure if, wow, these are so nice. Check that out, boom. There. So basically the way you adjust them, you have these washers above and below. And I believe neutral is, see it says you got six millimeters of adjustment. So you got one, two, three there and one, two, three. So yeah, you just put them, uh, put these washers either above or below. He sent me instructions for how that works. And as I was saying earlier, you can see how this one's like tapered. This one's not as much. So this is what actually goes into the knuckle 
Sorry guys, I'm used to being able to see the screen when I'm recording, but I'm doing this on my phone, so you can see the difference in, in these two. One's way longer. So we'll have to see which one fits and uh, and go from there. This is really a simple install. You crack the uh, lock nut on the, the old one, take out the, the one nut, holding it in, hammer it out, screw this off, screw this on. You wanna measure so you can keep your, um, your alignment proper because this is how you also adjust toe. I believe he said um, 16 mil or 16 threads, 16 mil or 16 threads into this is minimum. I wonder if these are any longer than the other ones because I need more adjustment. But uh, yeah, we'll find out. You guys can get a better look here. It's a very nice piece. You can see your washers there. Threads, and again, the difference between that one and this one here. Get this up close. Big difference, so. I believe the one that's installed on it should be the one for my car. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, well, once again, shout out to uh, Verkline, shout out to Albert for getting these sent over. I cannot wait to get them in, see how they look, and uh, give them a test drive. Next season, um, with a little bit more power and uh, some coilovers and all the Barkline parts coming together, the car's gonna be rowdy. I need a lot more seat time, but there shouldn't really be many more changes after that. That's got all the grounds covered. I can actually just focus and drive. I really would like a seat, because I saw it around a lot, but uh, other than that, I mean, the car right now is just great. I just, man, there's so many things that I want. You guys know how that goes. It's just a rabbit hole. It never ends. But, uh, man, I can't wait to get these in. Anyway, short video. Look out for the um, half mile video coming this week. And then hopefully uh, that following weekend we get these installed and uh, we can go for some drive. So thanks for watching. I'll uh, be looking out for that link below. It's not going to be there right away. Might be a little bit. I thought just go to verklineusa.com if you're in the USA or just verkline.com if you're out of the U.S. And uh, just keep an eye out for when these drop. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the football.